Okay. Hi, beauties. <laughs> so I had to record this because my husband and I just went to go see Deadpool. And we saw it at the AMC Prime and wanted to tell you guys about it. And we just started talking. So I said, oh, I got to record this for everybody. I absolutely love the sound and everything. And my husband was not so thrilled. Say hello. Hello. <laughs> so we were having a conversation. And say again why you didn't really... Well, okay, so so my argument was it was just a, it's a couple of bucks extra than going to a regular movie experience. And when I was in the, when the previews were going, I could, I, you know, the big glass and booms and the, and the large sound and, and your seats shaking and everything from the subwoofer, subwoofers was really, really cool. But as soon as the movie started playing and you got engrossed in the story and, and enjoying all the action and everything of it, um... All of that kind of went away. It didn't. It didn't really. It kind of faded into the movie, I should say. And so at the end of it, I kind of thought to myself, "Was this actually something that I was worth paying a little bit more money for?" And I don't think so. I don't think. I don't think it really added that much more to to the experience than paying regular price for a, a standard experience. So I don't know. It was, it was nice, but not worth the, I mean, what, we're driving 50 miles round trip to go to this thing, so yeah, not really worth the extra expenditure and the added mileage. Right. That's my opinion. And what about the seats? Uh, the seats were nice. The only thing that I didn't like, so in the standard AMC seats now, they go back into a full recline where you're, you could almost be laying down, whereas these go into a more posturpedic recline, which I really enjoyed, but... For us who wear glasses, <laughs> yeah, um, you had to hold your head up in order to, to see it properly. You couldn't actually sit in a, a reclined right. position because the head rested in either one, come up, or you can go into a full recline where you can keep your head down and still see the movie. So right. I did really enjoy the seats, and they were super comfortable, the most comfortable seats I've ever sat in. But um, I did not like that you couldn't go into a full recline specifically for reason if I had to have, I, I held my head up for the whole thing. Yeah. And I felt the same way. I, I like the seats. Um, now, if you know, if you've been paying attention to my channel at all, these are trifocals because I'm getting old. So down here is for uh, reading. So when I had my head back, I was always looking through here, which made the screen pretty fuzzy. So I either had to sit up or move my glasses very low. So that was the one downside. I did like that on the sides of the um, the chairs is where you uh, can sit up or down. It's not on the inside where you have to feel around like this, but literally there's a panel on the upside. And I took pictures of it for you guys to see. So I thought it was nice. I did like the sounds. It was a surrounding and there were, it was Deadpool. So it was a lot of um, action. <laughs> <laughs> so during those times you could really feel it I mean it, mel it made your seat move and I liked it I thought it was fun um, I would probably go a big again it was a, a dollar more I'd go again for the big movies like if Transformers comes out again or Independence Day is coming out or, or Captain America those kind of like big cinematic movie experiences but to go to one of your uh, Bridget Jones Diary. Yeah, no. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right, so thumbs up or thumbs down? Uh, I'm in the middle on this one. I'm going to be pragmatic about it. Because it's, you know, it just depends on, on the kind of person you are and the way you like to enjoy your movies. Yeah. It's kind of like the difference between an IMAX screen and a regular screen. You go to IMAX for the big, big movies and you go to regular screens for Bridget Jones Diary. Right. All right, well, I give, I give it a thumbs up. Um, they do, the ones we sat in, you get to pick your seat before you even go, so you don't have to worry about where your seats are. And uh, this was the AMC at Desert Ridge. Yeah, Desert Ridge 18. In, like, Cave Creek, I believe, Arizona. It's the only one in Arizona. Oh, it's the only one in Arizona, he said. They're expecting to have about 50 more of them by the end of 2018. Oh, cool. All right, well, there we have it. I'd give it a thumbs up. And uh, what I was saying is these seats, um, we picked our seats, and in the middle you can put uh, one side um, 
what's it, the, uh, arm the middle arm bar, you can put it up. And so we sat in a love seat, which was really nice. So, all right, I'm going to show you some pictures and I hope you like it. Thanks. Bye. Say bye. Bye. <laughs> bye. Okay, it's really dark and I apologize, but I just wanted to show you what the theater looks like. Um, so you'll see a lot of dark and again, I'm sorry, but I wanted to show you all the red lights. Each of those red lights are speakers. So you're getting speakers all throughout the side, the side and the uh, ceiling. So look at how many, I mean, each of those red dots represents a speaker. So it's very loud. You've been watching um, the first one. What did, what did you say, Tony, that it had subwoofers? And... Sub, uh, subwoofer Bravo, under every seat. Oh, under every seat there's one as well. So now I'm just showing you the buttons to, um, they're dark, so it's not a big red flashing sign. You have to actually touch them in order to um, have them pop on and then they turn off really quick. So just touch it, it pops on, you can go back and forth on your feet or on your head. And then right here I'm just trying to show you everything. Hi! And that's about it. Bye!